you can reduce the glucose spike of your meal by up to 75% by just changing the order of the foods in it, which means fewer cravings, less inflammation, less inching towards diabetes, etc. The correct order is vegetables first, proteins and fats second, and starches and sugars last. And the main reason this is so effective is because fiber, when it arrives first in your digestive system, fiber deploys itself onto the wall of your upper intestine, forming a protective gooey mesh that stays there for a few hours. That mesh then prevents your body from absorbing too much glucose too quickly from any of the food coming down afterwards. I will actually do that with my daughter. I figured out that if I give her, let's say, the broccoli first, yeah. then the salmon, and then the sweet potato wedges, actually often she's so full she doesn't even eat that many of the sweet potato wedges. But if you serve them all together, the kids will automatically finish off those sweet potato wedges first, mm -hmm. and sometimes they'll leave the salmon. Uh, but yeah, and so often people will say that. They'll say, oh, if I start with my veggies, I actually end up eating fewer of the carbs at the end. But while that's often a consequence, that's not the goal yeah. and that's not needed. Even if you eat the exact same meal, same quantity, same amount, just by switching the order, the food will have a vastly different impact on your body.